Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, I'm just going to show you a few of the features of the Volvo Winter Pack. It's um, early in the morning, two degrees. It's actually uh, mine and Mrs. DL's five year anniversary today. Uh, so I've snuck out so I can get some stuff to give her breakfast in bed. Uh, so I'm going to pop to the shop, we've got the day off work, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So um, yeah, these cars obviously being designed and built for Swedish weather they come with a whole host of things that make life in the UK very easy I think we're our weather is pretty mild compared to uh, most of Sweden I mean we're at two degrees now um, and in Sweden I think you're on about minus 16 um, so there's a slight uh, difference 18 degrees less than us so they rely on these features a lot more but um, what that means is the features are built for that sort of weather so this sort of stuff is uh, dead easy indeed so let's get going so my car's fitted with the winter pack which came with a few things it's definitely well worth having um, my dad had a 64 plate v4 to the winter pack and the thing was an absolute beast in cold weather it was the best car we'd ever had um, so yeah let's let's get into it so um start off with heated seats pretty much a must on volvos i think um these seats are so big and comfy so not having hit them heated as well just seems a bit of a crime uh, so that's included in the winter pack um, i think you could also specify it as well if you wanted to next up is the heated washer jets um a big issue when the temperature drops is these bad boys get frozen um, as well as the wash bottles so Volvo have put heating elements into them um, to unfreeze them basically and they that will come on if you put on your rear defrost you get heated washer nozzles yeah washer nozzles um, and this thing is quite a cool little feature so if it's below six degrees it will automatically come on so your your washer jets will automatically defrost your mirrors will automatically defrost um, because you're, you're likely to get a lot of moisture um, sort of below six degrees overnight and obviously your rear window will defrost eventually um, so yeah very very nice little feature there now on later models you could also get the heated windscreen uh, which is as a uh, quite a few subscribers rightly uh, corrected me on it's actually a triplex system from the 60s uh, that Ford adopted and sort of used as their own now um, and from the Ford Volvo merger um, back in the noughties they basically you could get a windscreen with tiny little filaments in that heated up a bit like the rear but it's that you didn't get those lines uh, like you see there it was a very very good it's very good easy system to use you just press a button and the wind and the ice on the windscreen just melts away um it's surprising it isn't sort of more universally used um it just makes a lot of sense in my book but um yeah ford have got the rights to that and it's, yeah, it's a very good little system um, you could option it, I think, on these cars and this generation of uh, SA, TV, 70, etc. But um, it's not a very common option at all. Um, so let, do let me know in the comments below if you have it. It uh, would be interesting to know that. Now, some cars came with something even more special. Um, for really cold climates, uh, you could get a engine block warmer. Um, which where you basically plug the car in overnight um, and there's a little heater in the coolant pipes um, that the car will circulate coolant round and it will warm the coolant up which means when you get in the car the engine isn't totally cold or the coolant isn't frozen now in the UK it does seem a little uh, excessive considering the um, relatively mild weather we've got it's already gone up a degree here so um it's not actually that bad but over in sort of um, Sweden etc Canada it is a very very popular option um, you guys may have seen Volvo Sweden a great YouTube channel um, probably better than mine uh, dedicated to P3 Volvos he installed one on his and sort of explained how it works and it's a really really cool bit of kit I haven't been able to justify it because yeah we don't get many 
um, cold days. I think this is nearly the end of November and this is our first sort of below four degrees day. So uh, yeah, nothing to really worry about there. Um, and also you could get in the UK a diesel heater, uh, which fed off the diesel tank um, and would pre-warm your cabin. Um, you could leave it on, I think you left it on overnight, uh, if I remember correctly. Just a little heater that just kept the cabin warm, uh, would stop your windows freezing up. A nice little feature, you can get it on um, TMS Volvo parts, I think, for about £500. So I think you'd be hard pressed to justify putting it in here. But um, yeah, really, really cool. And obviously heated steering wheels, etc. that are commonplace in a lot of manufacturers now, um, were fairly common on volvos as well so um yeah but that's it uh you've, you've also got stuff like the secret winter mode which i've covered in different videos etc so we'll check the channel out if you haven't seen that but um yeah let me know in the, in the comments below what your favorite volvo feature is let me know if i've missed any and i'll see you in the next video cheers